Hey guys, it's Dave from VSI, and I got Jordan here with me, who's actually my business partner. And we thought it'd be really cool to put a video together for you guys that uh, kind of explain the story of how we got here. There's a lot of ups and downs, and I'm gonna kind of let Jordan take over with uh, you know some of our past and how we got to where we are today. Yep. So six years ago, David was one of my first employees at Smith Lawn and Landscape, which is our sister uh, company to VSI. Uh, that's when Dave was still in college. Um, and he was working for me in the summers, uh, part-time, uh, ended up having some availability in the winter. So first, uh, first winter snow plowing, um, we just had a few accounts. I don't know, maybe we, three, three or four yeah, decent sized accounts. Yeah, not about much. two acres plowing. Right. And all we had was a probably 15 year old V box that never worked right. Um, and I remember specifically one night it was about negative 10 out. Maybe it's pretty cold. Yeah. Dave and I are out plowing and I'm trying to, to salt this parking lot and it's not working. Keeps jamming, keeps jamming, keeps jamming. So Dave climbs up in the back of this V box and shoveled all three yards of material out of it onto the parking lot. I remember the next day uh, thinking there has to be a better way to do this besides spending a bunch of money on new salting equipment and building a salt enclosure and everything else, right? So I immediately thought of uh, seeing the MnDOT trucks, the DOT trucks driving and spraying liquid on the roads and I was kind of curious what that was all about. So I started doing a little bit of research and found a little bit out about liquid de-icing but also found there's not much information out there. So Dave has, uh, I don't know if he's mentioned before, he has an engineering background. So I, I came to him with this concept. I said, Dave, you know, I want to figure out a way to mix liquid de-icer and want to do this ourselves. And uh, we got to work right away and I don't know, maybe what, two or three months later we had a prototype brine maker that was made of uh, IBC totes. I mean, it wasn't pretty at all. It was schedule, schedule 40 PVC and totes um, in our little 1300 square foot shop. And uh, that's kind of when this whole thing started in terms of when we started using liquid for liquid, you know, liquid de-icing obviously. And at that point, VSI wasn't even in our mindset. You know, we were just building the equipment to benefit our landscaping operation and our, you know, our snow business that was related to that. And the, the thing to consider is back then, I mean, we were heavily leveraged. We didn't have a shop. We didn't, we hardly had any equipment. Um, our nicest truck was a, what, a 2003 Duramax right. that had a plow on it yep. and yep. Uh, slowly started growing the company and constantly looking at it from a standpoint of how can we make this better? I mean, we have the drive to be the best. We wanted to be the best. We knew somehow we could implement it, but what, what are the standpoints now? What, what can we do to actually push ourselves above our competition, which had you know, a lot more resources and we did a lot more manpower. And uh, the, the whole liquid de-icing really, really caught our attention. Right. And the, you know, back six years ago, all of you guys know there was, like Jordan said, no information about it. So we kind of, we have a lot of years into testing we were lucky enough to not have many mess ups with it, as some of you may have experienced, right. but um, have built a tremendous amount of knowledge from the whole process. And you've probably seen a couple other videos about Jordan talking about how it, you know, it's changed the company when we were right. there together. And um, it's been a it's been a really fun fun trip together. But the cool thing about everything that we've done is we've always had this drive to be the best. And I and think, yeah, and I think that that's totally true. And I think. The reason we didn't just go out and buy, there was some liquid de-icing equipment available on the market. Right. There was brine makers, there was some sprayers. But like Dave mentioned, we didn't have a lot of resources. We were a pretty new company. You know, I had two, basically two employees at the time. Um, you know, we ran on a no debt uh, uh, concept, so we weren't borrowing money to buy new equipment. So it wasn't really an option to go out and spend at the time, what, $30,000, $40,000 on a brine maker. Right. So we kind of just wanted to test the concept without spending a lot of money. And that's, you know, that's where this all started from. Uh, but we quickly realized as we progressed, I mean, obviously from our first brine maker to our third one, there's a huge transformation, oh, a huge, yeah, absolutely. It, you know, went from something that was hideous and not very efficient to something that looks really nice and works really well. Uh, we, we quickly realized like, hey, we could actually compete in this market. You know, we could maybe even build this equipment and sell it. Um, so the whole concept for VSI stemmed from building equipment for own use, tested it for years. I mean, it wasn't until, what, not even two years ago now that we started really selling this stuff publicly. Mm -hmm. um, so we had a solid four years into actually using and testing our stuff. And we're still improving it all the time, but I mean, you know, our stuff is built on 
actual field field use with my landscaping operation. And that, that's really the cool part behind it, is everything that we've ever designed has been from a, a mindset of how do we want this equipment to perform. Right. When we're in the field, what is practical, what is not practical, you know, you'll notice that all of our, our equipment's e equipped with the GPS control. And we have found that through the years, um, you absolutely cannot run without it. Oh, you, our first yeah. sprayer did not have it, our second sprayer did not have it. And once we started running the numbers over the season, we were looking at it going, we are, we're actually losing money. We have great results, but why are we not able to fine tune our equipment and right. to do what we want to do? And through the years, we made the, the right connections with the right people, you know, all high quality manufacturers that we work with and have adapted all of our equipment to run the way that we want it to. Well, and the, even, even something like, I mean, our first sprayer had an eight foot wide boom. So we're, we're de-icing this commercial property. It's about a two acre lot and we're covering eight feet at a time with a pump that wasn't capable enough. You could only go eight miles an hour and it would take half an hour to treat this lot, which makes no sense. I mean, that labor's expensive, you know, so obviously setting up three lane booms like we offer um, for post treatment usage. I mean, it's a no brainer. I mean, you can cover a two acre lot in five minutes, right. you know, and the, the, way, the way our sprayers are set up now, I mean, you can go what, 20, I mean, with a three lane about, boom, oh, 15 yep. miles an hour, 12, I yep, don't remember about exactly. 20 miles an hour, they max okay. out. I mean, sure. we basically take all of our equipment and push it to limits because we know that there's always gonna be a certain situation that you guys are in that you need to get something done. Cause right. we've been there out in the field and uh, that's where you're going to see when you, you might talk to us, you might notice that our, our methods are a little bit aggressive compared yeah. to other companies, but it's honestly from the fact that we have to de-ice seven acres in 15 minutes. How do we, how do we get that done? <laughs> right. And the cool part is we built our, like, you know, Jordan said, we built our business around making equipment as efficient as possible, as practical as possible, and as dummy proof as possible, because we can, You've, you've heard in the other videos, we can throw any operator in a piece of equipment and right. now he can run it with 100%, you know, we know it's going to be perfect. Yep. So, Yeah, and I think, you know, one of the reasons we strive so much towards efficiency is because we were trying to be the big guy with the little guy's equipment. Absolutely. I mean, we got competitors that have quad axle dump trucks with salt spreaders, right? And we're trying to compete on their level. With a three quarter ton. With a three quarter ton <laughs> pickup. You know, and obviously it's not apples to apples here, but look at it from the perspective of we can offer better results on the same size parking lot. Um, even with a three quarter ton truck, we can cover three acres. You know, obviously we're not competing on the volume scale, but on the level of service and on the capability for such a small rig and such an inexpensive rig, I mean, it started to catch attention pretty quickly in our town. Oh, absolutely. And you know, over the past, past five years, um, obviously Smith on Landscape has grown up quite a bit yep. and as far as the amount that we service and the amount that we're capable of servicing. And we can pretty much credit that to liquid because we were able to move faster, move more efficiently, increase our margins while giving the customer um, the level of satisfaction and service that they, they would expect from us. Right. And it's uh, like, like I said, it's been a fun ride. We kind of wanted to give you guys a little bit of our story. If you want to hear more about it, I'm sure we're going to be doing more videos. You know, like, comment, subscribe. Yep. Hit us up on our email. All of our contact information is on our website. Right. We'd be more than happy to talk to you about it more. And if you guys have questions, I mean, a lot of you might be landscapers. If you have questions, um, I mean, obviously, I haven't been doing it for 40 years. I can't claim I'm an expert at everything. But we've had a successful business. We've grown very quickly, and I'm, I'm happy to help you do the same thing for your business. Look forward to seeing you guys next time. Thanks.